Bomb, bomb, bomb. Must begin. Now this town is called Town Minion, and we love to have people sit here and have fun and just go through all the buildings, as usual. And the up, the person who's like basically saying this, well, you're about to see me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah, that's me, Joey. If you didn't know that by now. And you did not see that peach thing. Yeah, that's my dog. I take him out for walks on the weekends, you know. But, again, like I was saying, let's get started with the story of the whole Godzilla accident with the hummingbird. Uh, two years ago. It's, it's, it's a story. You know, just deal with it. Okay. Ouch, ouch. Down there on the floor. So one day, me and my friends were basically on the streets. Uh, the other people were driving their cars as usual. But me and my friend had other plans with life. Hey, Bobby, why are you on the floor? Well, you know, I, I don't even want to mention it. Because if I do mention it, it's just going to end up being a whole lot sadder than it already is. And, you know, you've already had enough sadness today. Well, Bobby, you can't mention the facts that aren't supposed to be. You can't. You have to mention the facts that are fun. You can't just be all sad every day. Well, you know, that's the scientific method of doing stuff my way. I'm just sad. Well, you gotta stop being sad, you know. Hey, you guys wanna ride? Well, you know, we don't know. I think we're just gonna stick right here. Two seconds later. Whee! Woohoo! We've come to a stop. Why? Just kidding. Wee! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yippee! You know, not one of my best moments. But then we were coming coming up on a hill, and we did not know. Dee 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 dee. And then one of my friends fell off the car. We were joking around. And then there was a bump. Ah! And there he went. Hit the ground hard. So we drive down. Oh, and then a shake happens. And then another friend falls out. And then we fall. Ah! I landed on a rock. It was very, very painful. Luckily, I landed easily. And what I meant by easily is I hit the rock hard. But my friend, he hit the floor hard. Ah, oh, oh, there. But after a while, but Jeffrey went to go check this one. Are you okay? Oh, 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 no, oh. Why not? I fell from a car. Why would you think I'd be okay? Man, man, jeez. I was just asking. Well, I can't, just think better. Just stop asking questions. Ouch. See, this is what happens when you're angry to people and you don't treat them as nicely as when they're trying to save your butts. Yeah. I told you, I told you, you said butt. Sorry. And while well, Jeffrey was over here taking care of... Well, moving on. I was over here taking care of this guy. Well, yeah. 
Oh, you, oh, you saved me. Thank you for being my hero. Well, you know, and I were you. <laughs> That's not actually what he said. Let's actually show you what happens. Dude, are you alive? Dude, are you alive? Are you alive? <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey, he's not doing okay. You get that, Jeffrey? But then the car came and picked us up. Oh no, the back engine broke out. What are we going to do? Oh no, gotta make it down. Oh no. Oh, come on, little engine. Ouch. Well, you know, it didn't exactly make it. But we still saved the guy and took the car. So here we are. And, you know, here we are driving the car away. So, you know, we made it back to town. Happily ever after. Just kidding. That's not really the end. But here we are strolling into town. Oh, no. We took a left turn and hit the bone. Oh, what an unsuspected. Oh, wait, no. It's not unsuspected. Everything's shaking. Wow, what is what happening? What's happening? The building is going to crush us. Oh, no. It's going to crush us. Oh, no. We're going to fall off the edge. Explosion. Boom! And yes, oh, there's our dead friends. Well, you know, we're knocked out. But just to tell you, the guy we saved didn't make it, but um, of course we did. Moving on. So we all put them in the graves. Bad ending. Well, it's not really bad ending. Suddenly, the ground starts shaking. And we wonder why. No! I didn't know what this was. It was it seemed like it was trying to get up. And then right until you know it, it spread it out its legs. And after that, we were doomed. We just knew it. We were doomed. Wait, do you have an idea over there? No. Or think of an idea! We're gonna die! Oh, oh no. Don't wait, don't let, don't let the camera hit the gravel. Oh, oh come on. No, don't show your head. So then we turn around, and the sand, the monster, has already been fully grown. Wait, oh no. Now it's fully grown. We didn't know what to do. It fell back over and rolled over to the mountain, and we didn't know why. So we started running over there and attacking it. Ouch! Oh, come on, look at my gun! Oh, you're lucky, I totally missed you, because you would have gotten many pains out of that. But I have another gun. Ow! Oh, ow! Now you are going to pay for that. Right as you know it, right when his claw touches my body, guess what happens? The craziest thing happens. 
I see a big bogus animal come out the mountain. And he's coming to attack us. Da, da, da. And then I hear another rumble. And I look up at the mountains and a hummingbird appear. And at this moment, I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm doomed. Dun 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 and all of a sudden, I hear a rumble. And then I look up and I see the mountain coming down. And my legs were crushed, but I'm sure I made it out. Oh. But my friend didn't make it. I didn't know how I could ever live with myself. It just was terrible. And then there's another rumble. And I look over the well, I think there's something happening over the hill. The hummingbird and Godzilla are fighting. The hummingbird grabs Godzilla, flies up into the air, into the mountain. He goes. She's flying him over the mountains and then throws him down. And comes back and swoops back down to hit him. But then I hear a rumble in Godzilla's mouth. And then he uses his atomic breath. <gasps> and the hummingbird gets launched into the city. 58 miles over the deep ducks of doom. And then the robot flies on his rockets to Godzilla. It's weird. It's like they're teaming up to fight Godzilla. The hummingbird gets back up and starts trying to attack Godzilla, but then the robot knocks her out over across the mountains. And the robot starts to crumble and blows up. And then there is no sight of the robot. So then I keep my eye on Godzilla and just knowing that his next move is going to be attacking the hummingbird. I see him start walking over to the hummingbird. And then I see the hummingbird trying to get up. And then Godzilla makes his steps. And he makes them. And he makes them. And then he makes them. And then his tail. And then I look at the battle. The hummingbird gets up and starts attacking Godzilla. But it does not affect him. And then he grabs the hummingbird by the nose and throws her at the wall and starts attacking her. And then the hummingbird flicks her ring 
and it hits Godzilla into the city. And at that moment, I thought Godzilla was done for. Then I was like, I can save him. Dun, 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 dun. So then I get ready. I get my gun, and then I go off to fight. I drag my gun behind my back because uh, it's it's just real. Oh, I'll put the camera on the gravel again. It's just really super heavy. And then I get my gun ready and start shooting. And then it only hurts the bird a little. And the bird comes after me. And then the ground starts shaking. Godzilla appears and attacks the hummingbird. Grabs her. Grabs her and pulls her down on the depths. And then she is, does not like this. So she attacks him. With her wing. Then he throws her wing down and attacks her once again. And then he grabs her. And this time he does not mess up. He grabs her by the tail and throws her into the deep dark pits of doom. And then. She never appeared again. Godzilla gives me a stare. The ground shakes again. And then Godzilla, like I said, gives me a stare. Like I was going to die or something. And then he walks off. To the cave. Where he came. And before I know it, I look over to see if I can see him. But he's gone. He So then, I uh, return back to the city and see if I can help with any of this stuff. But then, I take a closer look and I'm saying, you know, I should just move to a, you know, a different city. Yeah. Two years later. Here we are, and that's the end of the story. Bye!